fellow YouTubers, this is Utah Moses here for my review. And for those of you that are going to judge me just by my intro or the sound of my voice, then screw you. Anyways, the movie I'm going to review today is Leon the Professional. The plot is about a hitman named Leon who has a heart of gold, and when I say that, I mean he doesn't kill women or children in his job, and he gets a kick out of old films, and when a young girl named Matilda found out her family was killed by a corrupt narcotics officer named Stanfield, she seeks out help from the neighbor who happens to be Leon, and when he brings her into his life, they form an unlikely relationship and teaches her how to clean people. Now, Leon is a passionate story accompanied with intense action scenes, underrated performances, and factuating direction from Luc Bichon, the director of La, Fe La Femme Nikita. Now, unlike Nikita, it takes on a different element where it shows when somebody enters into a hitman's life and shows how much that person would alter that man's life from what from what it was before. Now Sean Renault as Leon was amazing. Even though he doesn't have much dialogue to speak in this movie, his facial movement and expression alone gives a lot to his performance. And his character also shows how much of a sympathetic person he is. Not true. As a matter of fact, right now I have one in my kitchen. That's very clean. It smells very nice. You don't have a pig in your kitchen. Yes, I do. It was just in there and I didn't see any goddamn pig. Don't move, I'll get him. Piggy, Piggy, where are you? There you are. Hi, my dear. Hi, Piggy. <laughs> Gary Oldman as Stanfield was maniacal and unpredictable. And I know that I said in my other reviews that he's over the top in some movies, but how he acts, I mean, I really like him playing as a bad guy, and when I talk about him, he's not a bad actor playing those villains, it's just that he's really the standout point whenever he's on screen, and in Leon, how he plays it out is very appropriate because this is the kind of guy that you don't want to get near if you see him. I like these calm little moments before the storm. It reminds me of Beethoven. Can you hear it? It's like when you put your head to the grass, you can hear it growing. You can hear the insects. That was Gary Oldman on crack. <laughs> I should also mention that Gary Oldman's character has an obsession with Beethoven, and during the same year when this movie was made, he also played Beethoven in the movie Immortal Beloved. Last but not least, Natalie Portman was outstanding in her first role in her career as Matilda in this movie. Now. My only complaint about her in this movie is that she smokes and swears, and she's only 13 when she was doing this movie. I mean, I know it doesn't affect the story in any way, but 
just breaks my heart to see an actor just breaking themselves down like that at such an early age or any time during their life. I never said I was a role model. But what about the kids? All the kids looking up to me can suck my Well, I can't wait until Black Swan comes out. Luke Bichon, who directed and wrote this movie, did an awesome job at enticing his vision for an action and redemption story about a girl who really doesn't know where she wants her life to go after her family was killed. And this is indeed a great director to work with if you're an actor. And there are a lot of exaggerated action scenes, but they're really fun to watch, and people would criticize it for that. That, and the performances that was considered to be faked. Overall, this is an excellent action movie to watch. It has a lot of emotional conflicts in it, and mice is seen in a lot of parts in the movie. And if you're expecting a full-blown assassin movie, then go watch Assassins with Sylvester Stallone or La Femme Nikita like I've brought up before. Out of 5, I give it 4.5 stars out of 5. Now for special features. This is the two disc director's cut of Leon. This is indeed a mandatory version to get because it cut out a lot of vital scenes that was meant to be put into the original cut. Now, we have 10 year retrospective, whatever that is, John Renault, The Road of Leon, Natalie Portman, Starting Young, Fact Tracked, Bonus Previews, which features a bunch of other movie trailers. So, that's all I got to say. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back later. Until then, this is Utah Moses, signing out.